this video will give you the chance to think about some leadership qualities, leaders that you might know about, and think about some leadership styles. When we think about great leaders, we tend to think about heroes of the past or hero figures, people like Nelson Mandela, Henry V, Odysseus, people who we imagine having great charisma, having real drive, passion, able to speak as great orators, people who perhaps we aspire to be like but can't actually imagine being like ourselves. Increasingly in organisations, we're not actually expected to be like those figures. So let's be a little more realistic about the leadership qualities that we need to have and the expectations that we set ourselves. The kind of leader that people want to follow is the person who holds the flame, the person who burns with a passion for the subject or the organisation that they are responsible for. The person who really showed that for me was an England cricket captain. It was Mike Brearley. He wasn't the greatest cricketer. He wasn't particularly loud or a great orator, but he was incredibly passionate. He was really knowledgeable and he was able to get the best out of people because he really knew and understood how to work with different people in different ways and bring together a team and make them better as a whole team than they were as individuals. One of the qualities that Mike really had was that he was comfortable in his own skin. He knew that he wasn't the greatest cricketer, but he was relaxed about that. The best leaders are those who are able to adapt to the circumstances that they're in. They are comfortable with the fact that they are able to surround themselves with people who are better technically than they are, who are more skilled than them at some aspects of the role, who are going to be really talented and may surpass them in the long run. So they are able to really make the most of the talent in an organisation, foster that and develop it for the good of the organisation as a whole, because they're really relaxed about their own skills and their own abilities. So when you think about the kind of leader that you might aspire to become, sometimes you find them in unusual places. So look at the qualities of people, not just in your day-to-day -day work, but outside, and look at those people in different ways than you might have expected. The best leaders are those who invest in their own development and in the development of those around them. No leader is perfect, so they need to make sure that they are taking time out for themselves to think about their own needs. They also need to make sure that they're creating opportunities for those around them to grow. It's important that whenever new opportunities emerge, that leaders allow people around them to take those opportunities up so that you're always fostering the talent around you. Leadership is not the domain only of the people at the top of an organisation. It's easy to think about leadership in terms of an organisation structure chart where whoever is sitting at the top is the person who's in control and leads everything and makes all the decisions. In fact, the best organisations are those who vest leadership responsibilities at all levels of the organisation. And leadership is taken up through the behaviour of people, not through job descriptions and structures. An effective leader thinks hard about their legacy. It's really important that whatever you do remains after you've gone whether it's through a succession plan, someone or something that stays behind after you've gone, or through the culture of an organisation that you've made your mark. It's important that you plan ahead for that, that you think about what is it that I've embodied that I think would be really helpful for this organisation or for the people around me to take on. In summary, the important thing about Developing as a leader and working out leadership qualities is to be authentic. Not to try to be something you're not, to aspire to be a heroic leader,
but to be the leader that you're capable of being in the environment that you're in so that it's congruent, it's real, and it works in the organisation or the setting you're in, and it fits with the person you are, so that you can be really successful and leave your mark for the future.